at Manhattan Legal Services, we have a broad mission, which is to fight poverty and to seek social, economic, and racial justice. We accomplish that mission by providing free civil legal services to low-income people in the borough of Manhattan. We also provide community education, and we look to engage in systemic advocacy to challenge systems of oppression. Our philosophy is to provide holistic legal services. Somebody could come in with one issue and develop another legal issue as time goes on, or come in with a multitude of issues. If my family was safe, I would not come to the United States. My family was not safe, even me. I was not safe. At the point that we started working with Mr. DeCore, he already had asylum status and he had submitted the petitions for his wife and his two young daughters. They had been pending for about two years at this point and that was, you know, a very frustrating process for him. He couldn't travel to the Ivory Coast because he had an asylum application pending and then once he was approved, he really couldn't travel back because you can't go back to the country that you sought asylum from. He and his wife agreed that they would meet in a third country and they would visit and it was the first first time in several years that he had seen his wife and daughters and it was during that trip that they conceived their little boy who couldn't be included in the asylum application. Well when he first came in I couldn't envision how the entire process would play itself out. I couldn't envision how we were going to get all four wife, two girls and a baby out of the country at one time. Mr. DeCurry was wonderful as well because as soon as one person's visa was approved he would just get that person out. So it was the girls first, he got the girls out, and he was essentially mom and dad to them for the time that they were here because we were still waiting for the baby's visa to be approved. And the baby's visa couldn't be approved until the mother's visa was approved. I was so happy like a crazy because I know we're all safe. God bless her, Manhattan Legal Service. It was a wonderful experience for me as an advocate to help somebody that was so determined to reunite his family and to get them to a place where they could have a better life. Mr. DeCurry had approached me and told me that there were issues with his benefits because he is an asylee, he's entitled to public benefits, and so is his family. And I wasn't exactly sure how to help him, so I referred him to Denise Akron, who's our public benefits attorney. They were giving him a very small amount of public food stamps, which was like $30, when he should have been giving $500 a month. He needed that money to feed his family. Even though he was working, it wasn't enough to cover it. And so we assisted him in making sure that he was able to get public assistance which included food stamps, Medicaid, and shelter costs, which helped him pay for the shelter that he was currently living in. Thank you so much for Manhattan Legal Service. Thank you, Len, for everything she do for me and my family. Well, attorneys know how to navigate the system. A client may sort of have a sense of what they need to do, but they don't know exactly what to do. And we have access to other attorneys. So if we don't know the answer, we can find the answer from somebody else. A private individual can't do that. Access to the law and its entitlements can sometimes be a privileged process. So the more poor a person is, or the less English they know, or the less institutional knowledge they may have about certain processes can all pose barriers towards accessing equity. And I think that our services help to increase that equity and bridge that justice gap. I want to thank you for your support of Manhattan Legal Services, and we hope that you will be able to continue to support our work so that we can continue to provide staff to assist our clients with basic human needs. Thank you.